If you're struggling to get deep into your squat, your hip mobility may be one of the main reasons that's happening. And today I'm gonna to give you a couple of exercises that are gonna be good for that hip mobility, create some space and allow you to get a little bit deeper in your squat. What's going on guys, Bob Echo here with Own Performance and today we're gonna to be doing a basic run around of that 90-90 position. So if you don't know what a 90-90 position is, I'll show you right now, it's basically just this position of the hip. What we're looking to get with this position just from the start is to get the foot to be flat on the ground, this foot to be flat, this knee down, and this knee down on the outside. So inside of this knee, outside of that knee, outside of this foot, inside of this foot. Right, so from here, what we can do is we're gonna start maneuvering around this position. We're gonna start kind of, first we're gonna drop into a stretch. So what I'm doing is I'm cradling over that knee, making sure that I'm getting a nice stretch of the external rotators, then coming on to the other side, making sure that I can get that stretch in the same one. You can kind of come in and out of this movement here. You don't have to stay stuck in it. We don't have to just sit in this bottom position. We can kind of move in and out of that position. The second thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try to lift this leg up without letting the body shift. So if you notice it on the first one, I kind of dipped a bit. You don't wanna do that. Obviously, I'm not exactly super capable of doing this one. It's actually something I've been working on for a little bit of time. You try not to get that muscle up there to cramp at the same time. I literally cramped up five minutes ago, was lying on the ground for 10 minutes. So from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start keeping the feet where they are and basically rolling from one side to the other side without using your hands. If you struggle with this one, you can kind of give yourself a little bit of a lever by pressing into the ground just a bit if you need to maintain a little bit of balance. If not, just go without moving around or without lifting or using your hands. From there, we're gonna go right into a lift. So basically what I'm trying to do is keep my core tight, use my glutes to press, stretch through, stabilize myself as I come down. I don't wanna just allow myself to flop down on the ground. I wanna control it all the way, rotate it to the next side, come up, same thing, push the hips through, hold it, slowly lower it down, repeat going back and forth. You can run through each of those progressively, kind of four or five times on each side, getting kind of that work done, and that's gonna allow your hips to kind of open up, gain some internal rotation at the hip, and allow you to really start controlling that that kind of junction between the core and that hip, allow you to get some movement and that's gonna help you sit better in that squat.